So I have recently been doing some additional thinking in addition to all of the other thinking that I have been doing, <laughs> aside from everything. And I was just kind of like, I'm trying to like focus in on how I feel that this journey like really truly started. More aside from the whole like Animalia thing, the whole twin flame. Um, I look back on it and it's actually pretty intriguing. I feel that the main thing that really just enlightened me more than anything was making the conversion to being vegan. Veganism is something that it's not a diet. I hate when people say, oh, can you eat that on your diet? It's like, no, motherfucker, it's not a diet. <laughs> and I say that with love, of course. I don't mean anything. I'm not, you know, aggressively saying anything towards anyone. But it's like, don't call my eating ways a habit. What I do with my way of eating is a spiritual connection that I have with Earth because I feel that me and Earth are on a wave of communication to be able to respect and honor one another so much to be able to understand that I can thrive off of her, her gifts that she provides. And in return, I provide her gifts to the human nature and kind to be able to raise the vibration of those energies that are on her. So food is a very spiritual thing to me. I I embrace the spirituality of every piece of food that I put in my body and I often find my time or find myself looking up like the meaning spiritual belief like spiritual connections and health um, benefits of a lot of the different like vit or not vitamins but um a lot of the different vegetables and things that I do put in my body because I'm really big on feeling that whenever my body calls me to something there is a main purpose of why I do feel that my body answers me so much in so many ways like my higher self has actually merged with myself to where I feel that I'm so in tune with myself anymore because of everything that I'm doing on such a higher capacity than I've ever been. And it makes me so grateful. Um, one of the things that I really want to kind of throw out there for anyone who may be interested that I think they can help so many freaking people is the benefit of a spirulina powder. And I know I may be saying that kind of effed up because I always say it kind of crazy, but um, spirulina is freaking awesome. If you look into it, it can help with your skin. It can help with your cholesterol. It can help with everything. It has chlorophyll in it. Chlorophyll um, naturally raises your vibration because it's like it's like us being plants because we are we are living beings essences of this universe of this world of this earth that we are connected with to our you know soul connection because we're here right now so if we could look at ourselves like plants <laughs> then we can grow so much just thought I'd share veganism is kind of like one of those things to where it's like whenever you start and you switch your body, your internal workings from processing blood and gore and low vibrational frequencies of death to plant products that have been naturally grown in our, in our soil of earth that we live on, that we vibrate on, that we hold a frequency similar to the tune of and work towards getting to so it's just like one of those things. Like if I can raise my vibration through my food and through the music I listen to, through the frequencies that I listen to, through the vibration of the water that I drink, the liquid that I put in my body, the supplements from earth that I utilize and incorporate into my soul and my essence as well, then of course, absolutely of course, we're going to become better human beings. That is without a doubt. I'm not saying that I think that I'm a better human being than someone who doesn't do these things, however. So do please keep no, you know, know that that's not the case. But what I'm saying is I'm a better human being than I was before I did any of this. Because before I was very much still a high, high vibrational person because, you know, I've always kind of been an out of the box type person, kind of beat to my own drum. 
uh, dance to the beat of my own drum. But the thing is, I had such low self-esteem. I was constantly thinking negative thoughts and just like being such a little negative Nancy internally, even though I was portraying the image to everyone outside that I was just this happy-go-lucky person that just like lived in the clouds and just blah, 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 blah. But really that was not me. Like I had been in relation in a very long extended relationship, well to me, over seven years with someone that was really honestly a bit verbally abusive. Like she was so grumpy all the time. And I was just always like that positive, like, ah. And then she would just like beat me down with it. Like, you're too happy. Why are you talking? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And it came to a point to where I was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to tell you my ideas. I'm not going to talk about my anything because I am just like feeling this energy that you don't give a fuck. And instead of leaving that situation way earlier on into it when I should have, when it first started really getting heavy and bad, I stuck around. It was almost like I chose to beat myself up and belittle myself every single day because of this person this person that supposedly loved me so much that brought me down. So whenever I look back on that, it's just like one of those things like, wow, I really did that. But I look at it not as something to dwell on in the past that I'm negative about. I look at it as a stepping block to where I am now. Because after I got the urge to just be like, I'm gonna do this, because I had started kind of like YouTube and a lot of things. Like I went into the world of like understanding. I just wanted to know the answer to everything. I wanted to understand why I was alive, why we exist, what we're here for, everything. Like that was literally my objective of life. Um, pretty much after 2012. Because what happened was, up until 2012, I believe that 2012 was going to be the end. I was like all about the doomsday prophet and everything was going to change. Everything was going to end and there was going to be some catastrophic event. And I was kind of like secretly internally excited about it just to be completely transparent about it now looking back on it. And now as I think, I'm like, wow, I was really hoping to die back then because I was so miserable. So after 2012 happened, the December 21st, 2012, and I didn't die, we didn't die or so we don't think. Um, I believe we shifted realities, different timelines, but um, obviously we're still here. Um, so what happened was I went on this chase of life, pretty much. I wanted to go into every wormhole that I could find and I wanted to understand everything that I could make sensibility of. And what I've come to discover years later now, being 2019 in April, I have realized that even though all of those things that I wanted to learn and that I, I looked into, they enhanced my my knowledge base to such a degree to where I'm so grateful for. But I've realized more than ever that the answers lie within us and there's no real true way to get any true answer from an outside force or an outside, an outside, outside source in general because it's all within us. Yes, we can explore things to be able to become more knowledgeable about aspects of things in life and things that are a little bit beyond us or way beyond us. But the thing is, it's all about how it pertains to you and how it relates to you. Um, it could be something that's 100% true, but if it doesn't, it doesn't resonate with you, mm, is it your truth, you know? And who's to say what truth is? Who makes the truth? We're all here living through perspectives and and we're living our lives through what we see and how we take in and what we know based off of everything. So the only person who really truly knows the answers is you because internally you know you. And if you don't know you, which I feel like at some points, no, I did not know me, but now I do. And I'm so grateful to have met me because I'm fucking amazing. Like, I'm my best friend now. I'm amazing. I've literally, like, discovered the wonderful life of just loving yourself so much to where you find that you are this magical creation that has the ability to do whatever in the world you could ever dream or imagine doing. And I feel like because of me making that switch, getting out of that unhealthy relationship was the first step almost three years ago. And then from that point, starting all over, honestly, starting all over, which I have done many times in my life. And I'm not above saying that because life happens and we're not all put here to have perfect credit scores, to make all the best decisions and to live the most just, ah. Oh, I'm in a cookie cutter box and I'm living this way because that's what society says I should do. No, no, that's not me. 
I will never claim to be that person, nor will I, I don't even want to be that person. I just want to be me. I just want to, I want to live life on the edge sometimes and do some crazy shit. And I want to, I want to just live. I want to taste taste life instead of just like live it. I want to taste it. I want to breathe it. I want to absorb it in my skin and I want to thrive from the rush that it gives me within.